Welcome to another class, and today we are going to finish the design of our 3D enclosure. Let's start by creating the holes for fixing the screws from the base piece. Now I want you to create a sketch in the lower region of the base part and disable your view and insert nuts. Click on the letter P to select the projection command and select all holes for perform the projection on the base part. After that, Click OK and finish the creation of sketch. Next, we will create four circles with a diameter of 3.2 millimeters. According is displayed in the project. Finally, uses the extrude tool to select all circles and make the cut for the passage of the screw thread. Our next step is to determine a screw to fix the two pieces. To do this, you must determine the distance from the bottom face to the inside face of the hole. According to measure, we have a distance of 9.4 mm. Therefore, we must use a screw with a risk length of less than 9 mm. You can find any screw in Fusion 360's McMaster Car Component Tool. Access it to choose a screw. For this project, we will select an M3 screw with 8mm thread length and ultra low head profile. Select the 3D step option and import the screws to the project area. After selection, position a screw in the entry hole using the move or copy tool. Then, you must move it until the screw head is inside the base body. Now, you need to create a sketch on the bottom face of the base piece and draw for circles with diameter of 5.7 mm. Finally, select all and apply an extrude for cutting with a value of 1.3 mm. Note that the screw head will be housed in this space. See the final result of how the structure turned out. And note out. that the screw head will be housed in this space. Our next step is to create copies of the screws and place them in each of the holes created. See the final result after fixing all screws. Next, see the session cut. Now, let's make a cut and analyze the session. You can see the screw fixed in place of the insertion nut. And look how interesting it turned out, fixing our screws. In this next step, we are going to make some modifications to the surface of the enclosure. It will change the look and will make our project more beautiful. Select the top face of the cover, create a sketch and make two circles with the measurements shown below. Select the first and apply an extrusion to cut the material. Then, you need to enable sketch again and select the other circle. Now, select the pipe tool with the value of 1.25 mm to create this detail on the surface. After that, you will disable sketch. Hold the CTRL and key. click on these two regions of the top face for the application of the red colored plastic material. Now, I want you to create a sketch in that region and we will make further changes to the project structure. First, you will create a line 15 millimeters long, and at its end, you will draw a circle with a diameter of 2 millimeters. Select a circle and create a rectangular pattern with six circles with the distance of 16 millimeters. Now you will select the first circle and apply a circular pattern with 10 units and indicate the rotation point. I want you to repeat this process for the second circle with 20 units, for the third with 30 units, to the room with 40 units, for the fifth with 50 units, and for the sixth will be 60 units. After that, you must select the extrude tool and select all circles created. After selection, we will apply an extrude with a negative value to cut the surface of the part now, see the final result and see how the look got better. In our next step, I want to modify the side structure of our enclosure. 
Select one of the faces. Draws a line 5 mm long at the midpoint. And after that, draw a rectangle with center. With dimensions of 23 x 1.5 mm. Then, click the rectangular pattern tool. And select the rectangle. Enter a value of 12 units. With a distance of 46 mm. And see the result after applying the command. After this, use the extrude tool. Select all rectangles. And make a cut from one face to the other. It's that is the end result. Next, I want you to repeat the same process, but we will only do this on one side. The other will not be cut. See the final result of our enclosure after applying the changes in its outer region. Now, we will create the holes for fixing the electronic board. At the base of enclosure, I want you to disable the preview of the cover part, and we will create a sketch. Draw a reference line with a length of 30 mm and an angle of 45. At its end, we will draw two circles with dimensions of 8 mm and 4.5 mm. Now, you will need to select the two circles. Use the circular pattern tool and enter a value of 4 units. See the result after application. And to finish, I want you to use the extrude tool and apply volume to selected regions with a value of 6 mm. Now, we will create copies of the insert nuts and we will insert them in each one of the holes created. See the final result after moving each insert nut. In the previous video, we show this same moving process. And finally, we will create a structure which will allow us to fix our enclosure through screw in a wall or another place desired by the user. I want you to select the bottom region of the base part and create two rectangles with center with dimension of 10 x 16 millimeters and apply an extrusion with the value of 1.8 millimeter. Now, I want you to select the four corners and apply a radius of 2.5 millimeters with the fillet tool. After that, you need to create a reference line and create a point at its midpoint. Now, you must use the hole tool and create a countersunk hole with the following dimensions shown on the screen. Ready. We finally finished creating our project. And this is the end result from our 3D enclosure. Now it's time for you to prepare the files for them to can be printed at JLC3D. For that, select your part body. Right click and select the option save as mesh. To save in SDL format, save both pieces in this format and submit the files for production on the JLC3D website. The process is very and simple. You can use the discount coupons available to produce your first pieces with us. For under $10, you can build your enclosure out of resin and build their own electronic prototypes. Think of any idea and use the GLC PC to turn it into something real. Now we are waiting in for the you. next video. Bye bye.